Okay, how do we start uh, business continuity planning? Um, how do we start the business continuity plan? Project initiation is, of course, the most difficult part. Starting something is harder than just working on it. You know, once, once you're underway, um, you know, your path is uh, clearer in terms of what you have to do. Um, you will have, you know, an, an awful lot of work to do at the beginning to initiate the project. And, of course, the project initiation is the most important part because if you make mistakes in the project initiation, um, that is going to result in problems down the line as, as you try to work on it. You find that, uh, no, your scope isn't big enough, or your scope is too big, or uh, you have uh, made some poor assumptions in terms of support that you can rely on. Um, and you need to, uh, you know, essentially go back and, and change what you were planning on doing. So you've, you know, wasted a bunch of effort and you have a, a possible situation where you actually have to undo, work to undo work that you've already done um, before you can actually start working on the right stuff. So. Uh, you know, it's the same as we, we talked about in uh, application development, the system development life cycle. You know, the, the initiation part, getting, getting the idea right is fundamental. And if you make a mistake there, you know, you just, you're, you're going to be working against yourself. You're going to be uh, going to a lot of uh, futile effort, um, you are going to be beating your head against problems that you didn't need to address if you had done the correct determination of the project in the first place. Now, um, if you're going to do a full business continuity plan, um, Generally speaking, this is a project that's looking at a time frame of about three years. Um, it, you know, it, it does depend on the size of your company. It, it depends on uh, the scope of what you're covering. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not a quick fix. You know, this is not going to be a weekend task. Um, so, uh, there's also... I mean, yes, you want your you want to initiate the project um, as completely as comprehensively as is appropriate. Um, you want to do that correctly, but uh, take a, a lesson from Moliere: the best is the enemy of the good. So don't strive for perfection. You're well, you're never going to get there anyway. Uh, but you're also, um, as you develop, you know, if, if you are beginning business continuity planning, um, you are going to learn an awful lot of things by doing the business continuity planning, which you can then roll over into the uh, first round of revisions and, and maintenance, um, which... Uh, will inevitably happen anyways. As I say, you know, if this project uh, takes three years to complete, uh, you, you've you got, you know, some changes in your environment that are going to be happening within those three years. So uh, do that. Um, uh, another quote, uh, a job worth doing is worth doing badly. G.K. Chesterton. Um, and... You know, no, you don't want to do the job badly, but doing the job, having a business continuity plan is better than not having a business continuity plan. So, 
um, as uh, I said in the first uh, uh, introduction, uh, first video in, in this series, uh, a business continuity plan is something that, unlike other aspects of security, doesn't need to be complete. If you have a, a partial plan, it will probably assist you in uh, resilience for your company in the event of an emergency or a problem. Now, uh, okay, the, the need for the business continuity plans. Um, actually, only 35% of companies have biz formal business continuity plans, um, which is why so many companies fold when there's a disaster. We, you know, saw lots and lots of companies going bankrupt uh, during the the recent pandemic. You know, they, um, you know, either didn't have a plan, probably didn't have a plan, or it didn't cover, uh, you know, loss of personnel, uh, changing environment, changing market conditions. So, um, you know, that's, that's one aspect. An awful lot of people just don't. Um, five percent feel that they have an adequate business continuity plan. So when we when we look at that, um, we are going to be uh, trying to consider a you know um, having a, a decent plan, doing the work, uh, making it. Um, adequate for our needs and we'll you know try and uh, do that as, as best we can there's there's another factor here uh, that comes up and that's the issue of return on investment you know uh, you take you know go to your boss and say, you know, we need to do a business continuity plan. And he says, okay, how much is it going to cost? And you, you know, outline what you think is going to be happening. And he's going to say, oh, well, you know, we, uh, you know, we could use that money elsewhere. We could, you know, do lots of other things with it. You know, business continuity planning is, is kind of like insurance. It's your own insurance. Um, and, and what is the uh, cost as opposed to the, the benefit? You are going to have to make that case. And again, you're going to have to do it in the, uh, um, in the initiation phase. Go to management and say, yes, this is going to take a lot of resources. It's going to take money. It's going to take time. It's going to take people. Um, and, you know, yeah... It's going to be costly, but we need to do it. And, you know, just uh, if you don't have a business continuity plan, it doesn't, you know, um, I know that cyber insurance is, is, has come back in a big way. And, and uh, 40 years ago, when this idea first came up, I didn't think it was a great idea. And I, I have looked at uh, some of it since and, and it's still not a great idea so you've got to do your own you've got to do your business continuity planning